Hey guys, MTG Noob here. Uh, playing a little zombie highway, so that's why our clock uh, is down a little bit low. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Our opponent mulligans to six, and uh, we have a kind of crappy hand. Uh, our opponent mulligans to three, and we win. Hopefully the match. That would be awesome. Uh, I saw this guy. He was kind of complaining about land issues in the uh, convo tag um, of the gamers room. I don't know what his deck is. I mean, we can go back and find it. Let's do that now. Um, go around three. See where he's at. Hidden tactics. There we go. Hidden tactics. Okay, we'll watch his round one. See what his bombs are. Um, this is usually a technique I use from time to time so that you can get some inside information. Worst comes to worst, we see what his deck is. He's got an, um, planes. He's got mana troubles. That's kind of annoying, not really telling us anything about his deck. Hopefully we'll at least get some more information about a secondary color. Okay, so he's probably having mana problems. Uh, let's see how much time we have left. Sideboarding. We have two minutes. So let's go to game two. Hopefully we get a free win. Uh, it seems like lately we've been getting some free wins. We're a fan of that. Alright, so he's green and white. Get a strangle root geist. Let's see if he's aggroing it up. Okay, knowing this, we're definitely bringing in our Forest Walker. Okay, Bell Ringer eats that. Okay, he brings that back. All right. Um, wow, that's pretty savage. Holy crap! Six nine Bell Ringer. All right, uh, we've seen kind of enough. We're inside boarding. We still have a minute. Uh, we're going to take this out. Bring in... Where the hell is this dude? Okay, bring that in. He's got Stranglerootgeist. So we might want another early drop, like a wa walking corpse. Outcast seems good against him, but seems too heavy. Take the outcast out. Um... He's black white. He might have fly flyers. Let's consider bringing in a spider. I really like everything else in our deck against him. Let's cut the messenger to keep things consistent. All right. We'll just go right to game two since that wasn't really a game. <clears throat> this hand is keepable, not amazing. He has a play, okay, turn one forest. We might have to play that bear out. Okay, no string of root guys, that's good for us. Swamp is good. No reason to play the swamp yet. Uh, next turn, if we're under duress, nibbles. <laughs> Nibbles is good. Luckily, we sided in our spider. Sever is good. Um, we might need double black over the next two turns. I'm just going to play the bear out. This way we can try to keep racing him. Next turn we'll probably just play the lumber knot out. Okay, he swings for two. We take it. Ouch face. Don't you do that. Kessig Recluse. Okay, um, he's going to get the beats on. The The thing is, we could swing with this, I, th I mean, and then play an alpha, and then kill his spider. Could also kill this. Um... <clears throat> It's just a matter of, are we going to... Yeah, let's swing here. See what he wants to do. See if he blocks. If he blocks, we'll just buff our guy. 
we got to try to race this. He's got a pretty good start. Obviously, I think he's not going to block. I think he realizes. Like, all right, I'll take two here. Okay, we'll play... I mean, the Forest Walker is okay, but not amazing. I'm not going to do anything. I mean, I have a feeling we should kill his flyer. Uh, let's just play a Lumber Knot out. We'll take some damage. But we'll definitely get to grow this soon. I think taking four here is totally worth it. Especially racing it up. Oh man, he's just all Kessick Recluse. The problem is we're all sever the bloodline on that. <laughs> we're just like, oh, I I'm sorry. No faith shield one time. All right, good stuff. We now we're racing. He's got two cards in hand. We get a bunch of stuff going down. Um, nice peel. Wow, we should have waited. Okay, he's kind of tight sauce, which is fine by us. Splinter Fright is no good quite yet. Uh, we're not going to bash with Lumber Knot. Not worth trading it here. We'll bash with the Bears. See what he wants to do. Okay, he takes. That being said, we're going to pump up our Bears. we got to keep racing here, so... Got two cards. Man, so many spiders. Nom, 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 nom. I have so many spiders. Okay, that guy lifelinks. Alright, doing that means nothing. Let's see. Swing with him. And swing with him. So what he wants to do. Okay, trades there, gains two. It's fine. Um Guess we'll undying evil this guy. And then we'll get a bunch of effects. Making our lumber knot gigantic. Okay, and land. It's at 13. One, two. Yeah, we only got one dude in the yard. Let us <clears throat> play a bears. And let us make our guy gigantic. He's got no cards in hand. We have a nine, a seven, seven hex proof. He plays out his land. He's not winning this game. Just race, just race. It's all good. All right, everybody says nice to meet you, and we're gonna win this game. Okay, I don't know. So this is how you go 3-1 in these events. Hope your opponent gets land screwed. Probably. Thanks, bro. Alright. Don't you love when people are douchey? Uh, not saying that I, I'm not douchey myself, but... Oh, uh, man. We still had all these. He would have been super tight. I wish that game went longer. All right. So, uh, thanks for watching. We go 3-1. We get a qualifying point, and... I don't know what if you know what a qualifying point is, but if you get 15 of them, you end up getting to play in a Magic Online Championship for free, whatever the format is. I'm going to find out more of that. 3-1's um, okay, not amazing, but decent. And we get one qualifying point, and that will be going towards what I'm going to call 
the quest to qualify and that I'll put up a video about that later. Okay, thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe.